Jennifer Perilla. Jennifer Perilla was the first U.S. gymnast to compete in trampoline in the Olympic Games. She represented the United States in both the 2000 and 2004 Olympic Games. From 1993 to 2004, she won five U.S. individual and five U.S. synchronized trampoline titles, along with two double mini trampoline national crowns. At the World Championships, she was a member of the bronze medal trampoline team in 2005 and the double mini squads that won the team title in 1994 and the bronze medal in 1998. Perilla won the individual double mini silver medal at the 1998 Worlds. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Perilla. Thank you everybody, this is such a great honor. It is so much fun for me to be able to watch that video. I've been retired for five years now and every single day of my life, I take that passion with me, I take being an Olympian with me, and I walk my life every single day just knowing that it's such a great honor to have had almost 20 years of the most amazing life ever. My journey started when I was four years old. I took my mom's little mini trampoline and set it in front of my, in front of my bed or in front of the couch, and I would go down the hallway start running, take off, hit that thing, and fly onto it. So in my mind, I feel like I created the tumbling or I created the double mini trampoline. And pretty soon after, I enrolled in classes with Robert Knoll. And before I knew it, I was competing at the World Championships at nine years old. I started traveling internationally at nine, and every two years, I did a World Championships. And by 15, I was doing the World Cup Series and had to take my high school and do independent studies. So my life really changed at 15 years old. I really became an Olympic athlete when our sport wasn't even an Olympic sport. Going to the 2000 Olympic Games was such an honor. We had George Nissen, who was the man that invented the trampoline, Judy's, Judy Wills Klein, who was our very first world champion, my entire family, and Sims, it was such a family affair and such an incredible honor to be there representing the country as the very first person, as the pioneer. I missed finals by one-tenth of a point. The top eight went to the finals and I was ninth. I messed up. All I had to do was one little jump half turn and I would have made it. But I feel like it happened for a reason. I finished that competition kissing my mom on her forehead, telling her, it's okay. It's okay, we'll get him next time. On that day in Sydney, I was already prepared to go forward, already prepared to go to the 2004 Olympic Games. I knew it was gonna be me again. Trampoline is so different than artistic gymnastics because we never had a, an entire team that could go. Our very first um, Olympic Games, it was the top 12 athletes in the entire world, one per country. So it was even more amazing because I was my own team. And having my family and having that support really got me through everything. Going to the 2004 Olympic Games, I changed everything up. It wasn't my first Olympics. I knew what I had to do. I reached out to international teams and also had international teams come to my house. I learned so much from the Russians, the Germans, the Canadians, the Portuguese, you name it, the best people in the world, I reached out to them and partnered with them. At this point, all I did was eat, sleep, and live. I worked out twice a day, every day, chiropractors, massage therapists, you name it. I walked it, I lived it, I loved it. A few months after my very last Olympic Games, not competing at my best, I did eight skills and you're supposed to do 10 skills. On my eighth skill, I flipped off onto the end mat and the crowd completely cheered because it looked like a beautiful dismount. No, <laughs> it wasn't. So, my body was telling me it's time to be done, it's time to retire, but I couldn't. I couldn't finish with not being on top and not being proud of myself. I knew I would think about it forever. So I took a couple months off, gave everything I had mentally and physically for the next eight months, and I came back to the 05 World Championships with the best international competition I had had in 10 years. I could take a huge sigh and I could say, okay, girl, you're done now. <laughs> Time to move on. 
There were so many people that were on this ride with me, and I want to take a moment to thank a few. Robert Knoll, my first coach, my first Olympic coach, thank you so much for making our workouts fun and serious at the same time. You have created so many amazing athletes with great air awareness. You guys jump so high and have the best form out of any team in the entire country. You have the best competitors along with the international competitors. So Robert, thank you so much. You're amazing. Mihai and Lionel, Mihai Baju was a Olympic gymnast. He took over with training me and brought me to the highest difficulty I ever competed and also brought me to my first undefeated career going into the 05, the 04 Olympic Games. I won every single competition getting there. So thank you for that. Dimitri, you are my coach for 05 games. Again, I had the best competition of my life and you taught me so much confidence and that's what I needed to get through and finish. Carl Hager, my mentor, my mentor for life, my mentor in everything I, I do every single day. You are a captain of our team. You gave us a prayer every single day and you wrote my prayers to take with me to the games all by myself as a one woman team, so thank you for that. Mom, Dad, you guys are so amazing. You were coaches when I needed you to be. You were there to set up my trampoline when I needed you to be. You have traveled the world with me. We have gone to so many countries I can't even imagine. Our lives are beautiful. You're my best friends. Thank you so much. Kevin, my love, thank you for standing by my side going through this retirement. Thank you for supporting me in everything that I do moving forward. You guys rock. You're amazing. USA Gymnastics, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for the memories of a lifetime. Thank you so much for this great honor. I love you guys, I miss you guys. I wanna go get on a trampoline and jump some more. <laughs> Lastly, I love the phrase, once an Olympian, always an Olympian. I live every single day knowing that. You're never former, you're never past. So congratulations to the rest of us that are getting honored today. Thank you.